Hi guys, my name is Paul Wallace, where you may know me from YouTube for driving sports cars with big engines. <laughs> you join me in a car museum here in Malaga, Spain, where I'm surrounded by some of the greatest cars ever built. But we do not want to look back at history, we want to look into the future. And today I'm going to be trying something different and seeing how far I can run on electric power. Mercedes say the new GLE Coupe as plug-in hybrid offers a pure electric range of around 100 kilometers, which is quite a lot for a hybrid. And that is what today we're here to prove. Because, ladies and gentlemen, if I can do it with my heavy right foot, then everyone can. Alongside the hybrid system, the new GLE Coupe comes with an all-round sharpened design, MBUX multimedia system with Hey Mercedes, and some incredible driving assistance systems. I'm ready to test this beast, and there is no better time to engage with sustainable technology than now. If you're in the same mood as me, this film is for you. Let's go. If I can make the 100 kilometer drive in pure electric mode, I'll make sure we all get a nice reward at the end of the video. According to Mercedes, the new GLE Coupe can drive 100 kilometers in pure electric range. If the battery gets low, you can switch to the diesel motor and continue for hundreds more miles, meaning there is no such thing as range anxiety like you might get in some pure electric vehicles. The new GLE 350DE Formatic Coupe is the latest member of the Mercedes EQ power family, meaning it's one of the largest and one of the most powerful plug-in hybrids by Mercedes. The electric motor is combined with a four-cylinder diesel engine. If you're looking for sportiness, low emissions and range, then this drivetrain offers the best of both worlds. This clever system also comes with a hybrid boost for additional power, meaning the combined total system output is 235 kilowatts and a total system torque of 700 newton meters, which is a hell of a lot. Let me show you. Whoa! It hammers like a sports car, but it's not powered by a V8. It's sustainable technology. It's cutting edge. However, I probably shouldn't be flooring it if I'm to make my 100 kilometer electric range challenge, so I need to calm down. Instead, guys, let me introduce you to the wizardry genius of a hybrid. I can recoup energy whilst braking and feed it back to the battery. It's like a reward. I can use the dynamic select to select electric mode, which gives me five different recuperation levels. I now simply take my foot off the gas pedal to deaccelerate as I'm driving downhill. I immediately recover energy and regain electrical range. This silent one pedal driving technique is both relaxing and quite challenging as I'm trying to save as much electrical energy as possible. I can adjust the recuperation and therefore braking levels by using these paddles here. So it works with soft braking, therefore the one pedal driving technique can be used in many situations which is pretty amazing. But when I press the accelerator pedal past the pressure point and more power is thereby demanded than the electric motor alone can provide, I can engage the diesel engine again and use both systems together. Or I can choose the battery level drive mode. Here, a clever management of diesel engine and e-motor keeps my battery charged at a constant level for the moment I reach the city again, to drive downtown without noise and local emissions. I'm now well on my way. I've just used 30% of battery capacity and have 70 kilometers more to go. There is one thing the GLE does as great as it does drive, and that's how it looks. So let's take a break and check out the exterior design. Beauty is all about proportion, and Mercedes have nailed it with the new GLE Coupe. Starting at the rear of the car, the sleek tail lights and an angular muscular stance, giving off the impression the car is ready to pounce. And if we follow this line down to the A pillar, we can perfectly see Mercedes combining the two concepts of SUV and coupe and what they're all about. Taking a step back, Mercedes have stretched the new GLE coupe by four centimeters compared to its predecessor, resulting in even more elegance and space at the same time. 
However, the wheelbase is six centimeters shorter than a regular GLE SUV, improving the driving performance. The car has better aerodynamics now. Its drag coefficient is 9% less than before, meaning a reduction in drag, better fuel consumption as it cuts through the air. Other features include the diamond grille, single lamella, and the large Mercedes star, instantly identifying as part of the Mercedes Coupe family. The overall sporty appearance on the front and rear section comes with the AMG line, which in my opinion is a perfect fit. And check out these power domes on the hood, hinting at just how much thrust this car has. And because wheels are the jewelry of any car, Mercedes now offer rim sizes of 19 up to 22 inches on the GLE Coupe. And the headlights with multi-beam LEDs can give a real sense of road presence with a feature Mercedes call high beam assist. Each single LED can be individually adjusted to maximize illumination on the road without dazzling oncoming cars. And they look pretty cool at night too. You just don't miss speeding when you're floating like this. And this is down to the traditionally superb Mercedes suspension. This GLE has got Airmatic, which is an intelligent air suspension. It combines the advantages of several suspensions in one. The damping of each wheel singularly can adjust to the driving situation and condition on the road. It even reacts to different speeds and loads and always gives you a reassuring feeling. That is awesome. I've been spending a lot of time in the previous generation GLE because my friend owns one. And I have to say, he should seriously consider about upgrading. If you love your tech and gadgets, then this interior is a whole new level. The two screens here are seamlessly integrated into the dashboard and inside is MBUX, the Mercedes-Benz user experience, which hands down is the best user interface I've seen and experienced in any car. You can control and interact with the MBUX touchscreen, touch control buttons here on the steering wheel and also by the touchpad down here. But what you'll love most is the superb voice assistant that responds to the magic words, Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? What is the weather like in London today? Today it will be partly cloudy in London with a low of six and a high of 11 degrees. Yes, we're in the right location. It's about 25 degrees here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a brand new goodie on MBUX. The streaming service Amazon Music will be on board this year, giving us access through voice control to millions of songs and albums. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Play Star of the Story. Whatever love, you never gave vent to life's pressure, exchange the intrusion. Another cool feature in complex traffic situations, MBUX connects augmented reality for navigation with the real world. The technology overlays live images with graphical elements and traffic information. You can get to your destination way more stress-free. This beautiful cockpit is really growing on me. It's classy, sophisticated, yet emotional and sporty. It perfectly expresses the Mercedes design philosophy, sensual clarity. For your well-being, the GLE Coupe comes with sports seats as standard, further emphasizing the dynamic personality of the car and giving you all the lateral support you could wish for. The multifunction sports steering wheel feels great in my hands and I have access to a whole host of features right at my fingertips using these buttons here. That way you can make the most of these features without taking your hands off the steering wheel. And yes, there are a lot of features packed into it, but it still looks elegant and classy. Take a look at my battery level, guys. I'm not that confident that I'm gonna make it. I think all of this uphill driving has taken a toll, but I do think the recuperation will even itself out as I'm driving back downhill and into Malaga. So you get all this clever tech to subtly support you as you drive. And if that wasn't enough, you get even more support bundled in the Mercedes driving assistance package. They really make a huge difference when it comes to comfort and safety. First, there's Active Distance Assist Distronic. It can automatically maintain the distance to a car in front of me. 
it's now integrated with live traffic information so you can actually slow down for a tailback before you even see it. But as always, you, the driver, have the final say. Active steering assist helps the driver to keep the vehicle in the center of its lane, on straight roads, in slight bends, on motorways and highways, by gently turning the steering wheel. The GLE Coupe's Active Lane Keeping Assist can warn you when you unintentionally cross a line. It can even assist you directly by braking the wheels on one side of the car. In tailback situations, even the formation of an emergency lane is supported. If you want more, you can upgrade to the Driving Assistance Package Plus for features like the Active Stop and Go Assist, relieving you from one of the most annoying situations on the road. I've made it. I have finished my drive and it has been amazing to be behind the steering wheel of the new GLE Coupe. And some of the scenery that we've seen here in South of Spain has been beautiful. But before I reveal if I've made the challenge, I've still got a couple of features that I want to show you. So let's get stuck in. And now space, the final frontier. I love the intimacy you feel with a sports car and this Mercedes gives you the same feeling, but with more functional space. That's because it has a two centimeter longer wheelbase than its predecessor, meaning the new GLE Coupe is that little more roomy inside. The huge load space is seriously impressive with the rear seats folded down. To make loading even easier, the trunk can be lowered by a further five centimeters with airmatic suspension. And finally, one more thing. A lot of people don't tend to charge their plug-in hybrids, which to me, they're totally missing the point. It's all about using as much electrical energy as possible. So I recommend charging your GLE wherever you can, like I'm doing with the Mercedes wall box right here at the end of my drive. You can buy these for your garage and they have the capability of 22 kilowatts, which will fill your battery up in around four hours. Are you curious to see whether I've done it? You may remember many kilometers ago that I was slightly nervous about whether I would achieve my electric driving goal. Well, I can reveal that I finally made it to my final destination and I achieved slightly over 100 kilometers in pure electric mode. So the Mercedes promise is true. If I can do it with my heavy right foot, then everybody can. And here is my promised surprise. You may recognize the Mercedes nodding dog. This is the pinata version. It's a Mexican tradition, but they have them down here as well. So, vamos chicos. <laughs> to get more information on Mercedes models, click here. And to get more content, click here. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you next time.